Hi, my name is Daniel Liu, and I'm a pharmacy student here at the University of the Pacific. Today, I want to talk to you about a supplement called St. John's Wort. It is a common supplement, and a lot of people use it. You can typically find it in your local pharmacy or grocery store. But just because something is common doesn't necessarily mean you should use it. While St. John's Wort does have some benefits, it also has some major risks. Together, let's explore some of the good and some of the not so good things about this common supplement. First of all, what is a supplement? Let me explain. You see, not all things found in a pharmacy are made equally. The law says some things must be tested for years to make sure they are safe. Also, these things must have the same amount of ingredients in each pill. We call these things drugs. But some things are not tested for years to make sure they are safe. The law does not say these things must have the same amount of ingredients in each pill. We call these things supplements. When in a pharmacy, you will find the word supplement on bottles with supplements inside. The law says all supplement bottles must have this exact word written on it so you will know which bottles have supplements inside. St. John's wort is a supplement. Over the years, people have used St. John's wort for depression and a number of other conditions. Tests by expert scientists show that St. John's wort might actually help some people with mild depression feel better. And on its own, St. John's wort is safe and does not cause many side effects. But unfortunately, there's a serious catch. The biggest problem with St. John's wort is that it seriously interacts, or you could call it interferes, with a number of other common medications that you may take. What exactly does this mean? Well, let me explain. You see, sometimes drugs and supplements do not get along with each other in the body. When used on their own, they can help you feel much better. But the more drugs and supplements you use, you may actually get worse rather than better. This is because drugs and supplements may interact or interfere with other drugs and supplements when inside your body. As a result, they may stop each other from working, as if you did not take them at all in the first place. They may also cause each other to work too well, as if you overdosed. Both of these results are bad and possibly life-threatening. When you take one tablet of St. John's wort, it spreads out and may remain in your body for up to a couple of weeks. Once there, it is ready to interact or interfere with a number of other common medications you may take, even if you just take one tablet of St. John's wort. The following list includes just a few of the drugs that interact with St. John's wort. Drugs for anxiety, like alprazolam, Xanax, diazepam, and Valium. Drugs for depression, like amitriptyline, Elevil, bupropion, trazodone, citalopram, Lexapro, fluoxetine, Prozac, Zoloft, duloxetine, Cymbalta, venlafaxine, and Effexor. Drugs for heart problems, like digoxin and lenoxin. Drugs for seizures, like phenobarbital and dilantin. Drugs for blood clots, like warfarin and coumadin. Drugs for pain, like morphine, Vicodin, oxycodone, and hydrocodone. Drugs for high blood pressure, like Lipitor, Verapamil, Losartan, Cozar, and Propranolol. St. John's Wort interacts with even more drugs, such as certain drugs used for high cholesterol, cancer, skin problems, fungus, allergies, and heartburn. St. John's Wort also interacts with certain drugs used to put you to sleep before surgery. This means you could dangerously wake up too early or too late from surgery. So should you use St. John's wort for depression? I hesitate to say yes or no. I want to say yes because along with many other supplements, it may actually work as advertised. But do the benefits outweigh the risks? In this case, I really have to say no. But you're going to have to decide for yourself. I understand that this news may be a bit disappointing for you. Maybe you're on a lot of medications, or feel like your current depression medications just aren't working as well as they could be. You know, if this is the case, I'm truly sorry. But take heart, because today there are so many options, lifestyle changes, drugs, and even some supplements available to improve your quality of life. I do encourage you to please take time to talk to your local pharmacist or doctor. And you know, don't be afraid to be honest with us. We want to help you live the best life possible. We're here to listen.